Hi everyone, it's Charlotte again. I'm just showing you some of my stationery items. I uh, thought you might like to see how I organise things and what I put together. I really think that stationery is really important to send in shoe boxes. In some countries, the children can't go to school if they've not got a pencil or a notebook. So I just think the, it's really, really useful. Um, so I have got lots and lots of pencil cases. My friend Maria makes them for me or I pick them up cheaply um, in different places and she does them here. She just uses one piece of felt. I've made some before as well. So she uses one piece of felt that she folds blanket stitches around the edges. Sometimes puts a little motif on and then a button. And it's just a simple way so all the pencils and things don't go flying about in the in the shoebox. So typically in a shoebox I would put um, three pencils. And I get most of this stuff on, on eBay. I buy things in bulk on eBay. A um, um, couple of buy rows unless it's for a younger child. Pick up free ones. Sometimes you can get really nice ones. Um, so there we go, let's put a few pens in, uh, we've got rubbers, again I pick up different ones, um, Amazon is usually quite good for getting good deals, Poundland is usually quite good as well, so get a pencil sharpener as well, okay. I've got some li little kind of golfing pencils here. These are really quite useful. If you've not got much space in the shoe box, you can throw a few of those in. So I do like sending those as well. So I'll pop a couple of those in. Um, we've got scissors. I've got blunt tipped scissors. A um, bit of a tip with these. Uh, I bought these from Amazon and it said that they were used, but it was just that the packaging was um, damaged. Uh, which is fine because I've got um, about 100 pairs of scissors there that were quite inexpensive. Put those in. And then I like to send a 15 centimeter ruler as well. Some colours. Uh, my favourites are these from Poundland. You get four packs. Maria, my friend, made me some lovely duct tape pouches. And they just look really nice in there. Or I might send wax cranes if it's for a younger child. I picked these up on Amazon. Um, quite inexpensive. Just a few colours uh, as well. I prefer sending um, crayons to felt tips because I think that they last longer. And they're not going to get them and they've dried out. Right, so every child will get a pencil case of some sort that is filled up to the brim. As well as that, they'll get at least one notebook. Here is just a few um, Poundland. I've got these styles. I think they're four for a pound. Um, most of the pound shops and home bargains have got these, which are about three for a pound or four for one thirty, I think. Um, I like. I do like these ones. They're very easy to fit in the shoe boxes. Uh, I can sometimes get the kind of school, school ones. I went on eBay and got a really good deal on school exercise books at one stage. These were fantastic. These were in home bargains. I'd not seen them recently, but they're only twenty nine pence each, and they're kind of a hardback book, but they're like a journal so i could imagine a little girl really enjoying putting her thoughts down on here um so that would be quite useful uh, i don't often send a bag but i found this brand new in a charity shop it was all in the plastic and everything so i'm just waiting for a shoe box that is big enough um and stencils are quite easy to pick up cheaply i used to love stencils when i was at school and I know it's not a school thing, but colouring books fits in with the stationery theme. My favourites, I think, are these type, um, where you've got a little pad with some colours in the back. 
and they usually send some other colours as well. Um, they're usually about a pound, but I got these at 49 pence in Home Bargain, so I picked up a few of those. Um, then just regular colouring books that I pick up places. Uh, these were in Home Bargains, I think they're fantastic. They do fit in a shoebox, you've got to put them down the side like that and just bend them over a little bit. Try to I try to avoid um, colouring books and notebooks that are A4 or bigger because they don't really fit in the shoe boxes. Okay, um, this is an example of the colouring book that you can print off on my Facebook group, um, Operation Christmas Child Shoe Box Crafts Bargains and Crafts UK. Um, so it's just a sim lot, few simple pictures, and you can just put your own cover on. Um, they're very handy, especially when I ran out of colouring books that I'd bought. Uh, there's a website called simplyshoeboxes.com um, and they've got all sorts of printables on there. Um, and this is one of theirs that you can print off, which is quite nice. I like that it's got some blank pages too. And then these are the ones that I bought, um, I buy on eBay. Um, I think they're in packs of about 12 at a time. Um, but they're quite nice because the different colours, they're not amazing quality, but it gives the child something to colour in. Um, I just think I just think they're nice, real, really inexpensive. You could put one or two in a shoebox, and I think I think they're I think they're quite nice as well. So that's everything really for uh, my stationery that I send. Uh, just want to say thank you to everybody that's watched my videos so far. I'm really new to this. I'm I'm yeah I'm not very brave. Um, I keep thinking I'm going to say the wrong thing and. Um, jumble over my words but I'm having a little go and uh, I just really really enjoy watching everybody else's videos here on YouTube uh, especially bird feed um, I love watching I'm trying to think of the names now uh, Trey and uh, Foothills family and I'm sure there's other people I've not mentioned who I'll mention next time but I love watching um, especially all the things that you get in America and just gives me ideas and just love kind of sharing in this community so uh thanks for um watching if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe and i might keep going thanks a lot bye